All right, welcome back. So this problem is from course one, six, six dash nine, generic, it's about generic rectangles, products, and factors. So um, it says consider this, consider the generic rectangle at the right, and it's got some factors missing. So factors are the numbers that appear on the outside of the rectangle, and some products missing, and that's what's on the inside there where the area would be. So factors on the outside, and the products are on the inside. So it says complete the generic rectangle, and then the second part is write as many products as you can see in the rectangle. Find at least four. For each one, show the factors that are being multiplied, so the dimensions on the outside of the rectangle, as well as the product. So um, I like finding all the factors first. So we've got some missing, so I would look here and I'd say, all right, well, 20 rows of what? Or, or how many rows of 20 would make 80? And well, I know that 2 times 4 is 8, um, so 2 times 40 would be 80, so 20 times 40 would be um, 800. So the next missing factor here is, is up here, and so we've got, um, well this is 6 here, so 6 would be here, and so this is 6 rows of what would make 18? Well, 6 rows of 3, so I know that this factor must be 3 up here. Um, so this multiplication problem that we're dealing with is 46 times 23. That will be one of the factors that I use. I will use that um, down here for part B. So 46 times 23. We will go ahead and get what that is in a minute. Um, now let's figure out what this is. So one of the, and one of the factors that we do have, one of the products, I might as well do this at the same time. So one product and factors I see is that 40 times 20 40 times 20 is 800. Um, I know that this product here is going to be 40 times 3 will be the product of what 40 times 3 is. Um, so those factors, 40 times 3, get 120, is a product of 120. That's like 126, so that's 120 right there. Uh, let's look here. This is 3 times, I'm sorry, 6 times 20. So this is 6 times 20 are the factors, which get us a product of 120. And then here, this is 6 and 3. Those are the factors there, 6 and 3, which is 18. So those are five products here. So five products here are the factors. Um, and then all together, if we were to add all these together, what would we get? And that would be the, the product of what 46 times 23 is. So 800 plus 120 plus 120 plus 18. 8 plus all those zeros is just 8. 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. And 8 plus 1 is 2 is 8, 9, 10. So 1,000, 1,058. There you go. And I almost forgot to mention, please uh, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you have any problems that you would like me to do, whether from um, course one or course two, you can put a comment in the comment below and I'll get your comments and try to make a video for you as quick as possible. All right, thanks.